right in the heart of Italy is Tuscany, a special region of land where green vineyards, rolling grassland, and medieval hill towns coincide in golden harmony. It's the kind of place you picture when you dream of retiring in the Italian countryside so that you can wake up to the sounds of sheep bells in the distance and fall asleep to a nice glass of fine wine straight from the land. When we were looking for different things to do here in Tuscany, I came across this experience that I didn't even know existed or that you could partake in. You might briefly remember me mentioning over in Provence that the truffle grows very well in the Provence region of France and in the Tuscany region of Italy. So today we're gonna go truffle hunting with these very cute fluffy dogs that can apparently sniff them out and find what is said to be the black and white gold of gastronomy. We just made it to the vineyard and I have to say this place is beautiful, extremely well maintained. Yeah, it feels like we're about to go to a wedding because it looks like a wedding venue. Yeah, it does. We are meeting the talented little dogs and right now we have Zora here, five months old, very young, still learning. And then here we have uh, Viola, nine years old, very good at looking for the white truffles. And then this one here is Bella, and she apparently is really, really good at finding the black truffles. So we have three geniuses amongst us, and they are so good at finding these very special underground mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> Guys, please touch all of them, because they can be jealous. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> We just got the biggest truffle hunting crash course 101 you could ever imagine but I'm gonna try to break it down to the basics for you. So first of all there are white truffles and there are black truffles. Here are the white truffles. Here are the many different variations of black truffles. But imagine the white truffle to be the diamond of the season. They're extremely rare to find and definitely the most expensive of all the different truffles there are out there. So if you didn't know, truffles are mushrooms that grow underground and you definitely need an animal's help because you cannot do this on your own. So over in France, they actually have pigs that go out and they have really good sense of smell and they'll find the truffles. But they're very aggressive, so here in Italy they've actually banned pigs for truffle hunting and they use these very cute fluffy dogs Aww. instead. And so we just learned that it actually takes over a year to train these dogs, so it's no easy game. And so our truffle hunting tour guide was telling us that he goes out at 4 in the morning to hunt for these truffles for two reasons. One, to not be followed by any other truffle hunters because it is a very competitive game out here. And two, when it's the early morning, truffles actually have a more prominent smell so it's better for the dogs to find these truffles and that is why he goes in the middle of the night in the pitch dark scrambling through the woods to find these little nuggets of black and white gold so now that we've learned all of this history we're gonna go and let the dogs loose see what they can find and see how long it takes to find them <laughs> little marshmallow. So happy. You gave them all yours already? Pretty much. <laughs> I only had one hand. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> okay, if you want uh, for the videos, mm -hmm. follow her, the wife. Okay. <laughs> She's the best. Okay. <laughs> She's a machine. <laughs> wow. So fast. Whoa. Oh. That's crazy. We just let the dogs out for like 30 seconds yeah, and Bella, black, the very good black, black truffle hunter, has brought one and it's in my hand. Yeah. Oh, they're very big. These are probably really hard to like... Can I feel it? Is it yeah. heavy? Like it just looks like a rock. <laughs> you have a good dog. Yeah. 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 Another one! <laughs> the smell. It smells like... The earth, but with mushroom. <laughs> 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 
Wow. Oh my gosh. We need one of these dogs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Add it fresh. to the collection. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. That one hour truffle tour completely flew by. It was so much fun. The host just did such a good job. He's so knowledgeable. And something that I don't think we told you guys is that he has been truffle hunting for over 40 years. He loved how enthusiastic we were um, because we had a lot of questions and we were very interested in that experience. So we did not realize that our truffle hunting tour would turn into a wine tasting but we now have seven wine glasses in front of us and a little charcuterie plate we're about to enjoy. I am a little bit nervous. We don't drink much these days, so I think we're gonna be feeling very lit by the end of it. But you know, when in wine country, yes, you go um, for it. <laughs> so we're obviously such amateurs at all of this, but it turns out the first three wines that they poured for us is for the appetizer. So after this, we will have four glasses of wine for our entree. <laughs> so with every course they bring out, they're topped with truffles, which is so special because we just saw the dogs go and dig them up. But here we have lasagna that's topped with truffles, and then we also have some, I believe it's fish, that's topped with truffles. Just like sitting here, you can smell the truffles because they're just so fragrant. And I think after learning the process of how it's uh, cultivated, how it's found in the wild. I just have a greater appreciation for it. And I'm really glad that we did that tour because otherwise I would just be scarping up these underground mushrooms without knowing all the work that goes into it. Claire is a legend. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to get my money's worth. And you get your money's worth when you finish all seven glasses of wine that they bring to you. <laughs> After a 30 minute drive from the vineyard, we have made it to the city of Siena. And today is one of two of the biggest days of the year because they are hosting their biannual horse race that has been going on for over 800 years. There are 17 different families or like tribes here in the city that have been competing in this horse race. They somehow select 10 of these houses that will compete in this race. And there's a parade that happens before the official race happens. So we're going to see that parade now. So in high school, my senior trip was to the medieval times at an outlet mall. And this feels a lot like that. There are people in costumes, there are horses everywhere, flags waving all about. And we are in the middle of the craziest crowd I've ever seen. And I think we're about to watch a very wild horse race. Well, we got here nice and early and good thing because I think they've actually closed off all entrance to this place, so we are here to stay. And for the last like 45 minutes, I was sleeping on the ground like a little pigeon, little street rat, um, taking a nice nap by everyone's feet in cabs. And once I woke up, Chad was like, oh my gosh, there are four foxes walking around this place, pulling this cart, and I guess every single neighboring family they pass, uh, people get really excited, they wave their flags, and it's just a good time over here. But I think we are 30 minutes to the race at this point. There was just a giant gunshot and all of the horses have arrived. Really gave me a heart attack. Bear is awake now. Just like that, the race is already over. It was probably only one minute, and there were a few gunshots. People fell off their horses. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, and then the person who won won, and then people just started running in to the streets. Yeah. And now we're gonna head out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Well, what an absolutely insane day. We just made it back to our little escape. We can see Sienna way back over the hills, but we're about 20 minutes away. But I think we're gonna end it here for the night and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon from Tuscany. This morning was quite a chaotic one. We were actually hit by a pretty wild thunderstorm and all the trees were swaying all about and the power actually went out. And so we decided to just stay inside, yeah, you safe. know, play it safe. <laughs> So we did not go out and explore this morning, but we do have some exciting things planned for this evening. Mm -hmm. So I think right now is a fantastic time to say a huge thank you to Get Your Guide for supporting our channel. Get Your Guide is an online platform that allows you to book tours as well as guided experience to some of the most iconic spots in a city. You can also find some more unique experiences like the truffle hunting tour or hearing a live Italian orchestra performance in a historic church. They offer over over 60,000 experiences in more than 3,600 destinations around the world. And when you book with them, you know that your experiences are being provided by knowledgeable local experts. So if you're not really into the guided tours and you just want to go and see the sites, they have skip the line tickets, which is fantastic because you don't want to be spending all your time waiting in line. You can just go up with the app, they'll scan your little ticket and you get to go right in. I think one of my favorite things is that you can get a refund all the way up until 24 hours before your tour so when you're traveling around the world plans are gonna change and so just having that security of knowing that you can get a refund or you can change your date it's just really reassuring to us as travelers and so that is why we really love it so overall we just want to say a huge thank you to get your guide for supporting what we do mm -hmm. and now we're gonna go and enjoy a wonderful dinner here in Tuscany We are back in Siena because that's where the pickup point for this event is and it is far less crowded today than yesterday. It's like a totally different experience. So we are just waiting under an awning because it started to rain and out of nowhere this very nice van pulls up and a man goes, wine tasting? <laughs> So I guess our dinner has turned into a wine tasting. Yeah, we've noticed that here in Tuscany, lunch with wine or dinner with wine means lunch with several, several glasses wine of wine. With, with a snack of lunch. Yeah. So we're very excited. Um, I mean, after all, we are here in one of the best places to drink wine. So not bad about it. So before we go in for dinner, we're getting a first round of drinks. Out here we have Prosecco from Tuscany, and apparently you're supposed to taste green apple. Yeah. Is that right? I taste it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I can taste it for sure. We are getting quite the treat today because this wine producer also produces oil, I guess, on the side. And right now I have a piece of bread that has white truffle oil on it. And yesterday when we were truffle hunting, the truffle hunter expert was telling us that the white truffle is like a thousand times better than the black truffle. And so this is gonna be my very first taste of it. And just smelling it right now, it smells so good. <laughs> that is some really good oil. I know, it's like, just, you don't need like anything with it. you don't need anything it. else. No salt, just the oil with the bread. Yeah. I'm looking at the sample plate and it's empty because I took too long to talk about it to the camera and it, it has all been eaten, so I only get that one taste. It is officially dining time. We're gonna go into the dining hall. So sadly, because it's raining, we can't dine in the vineyards, but they have a nice little place for us indoors. And let's go check it out. We just had a balsamic vinegar that had been aged for 20 years. And I think it just says a lot about how in France, and Italy, and Spain, they just care a lot about um, putting time into their food. And the end result is so delicious, so amazing and full of flavor. We are now trying our eighth sample of the night between the oils and the vinegars and the wines. So now we have a rosé, and apparently it's made with the exact same grape as the red wine we had 
earlier, but rather than letting it uh, sit around for weeks and weeks, it's only <laughs> it only sat for six hours. So it does have that like pinkish color that you'd get from the skins of the red grapes, but it doesn't have that same flavor. So it's a little bit more fresh. And apparently very sweet, which makes it perfect for dessert. The rain has finally ceased, so we are outside in their courtyard, and I think that we have drank enough wine to last us perhaps even the rest of Italy. But I think we're gonna end the video here. We're about to hop on the bus and go back home. And with all of that said, thank you guys for watching. And if you're new around here, Claire and I will be traveling to 50 countries around the world. So if you want to follow along on our journey, then hit subscribe. And a special thanks as always to our Patreon supporters because you guys are amazing and the reason that we're doing what we're doing. Yeah, but with all that said, ciao. We'll see you guys next time.